The Jean Pool in Mount Washington Village is open for business, but it's safe to say the inventory right now is a little shallow. Thieves smashed through the front window in the wee hours of a Sunday morning and literally cleaned out the store. Everything was gone. I mean, they just took like stacks of stuff. Two nights later, the thieves returned, broke the other window, and went to work again. White pants, white shorts, uh, cute little dresses. The whole spring inventory was gone. Retail is a tough business, you know, and you rely on your customers to buy everything. And so by having a break in like this is just, you know, I'm not having any business. There's nothing for anyone to buy. Scott's slowly restocking the shelves, getting new shipments as quickly as he can. But business hurts when you don't have the very items that put you on the retail map. And in this close knit community of business owners, when crime hits one place, it hits everyone. Restaurant owner Mustafa Snoozy stopped by Gene Pool to show Scott Wabel his support. You need to come and enjoy the food and, and shop in the retail business here where they, they need you. They, or they, we all need people to come here. Scott says he hopes the boutique bandits don't come back. He's definitely not going to make it easy for them to hit his store a third time. I'm looking into possibly putting up security gates in the front of the building. The merchandise on display will be removed when the store closes. It'll hurt window shopping, but it will also take away the temptation for thieves. He's also thinking about adding a security guard, the kind with two legs. The focus now is to get ready for spring break shoppers and to keep customers coming in because the next time his shelves are emptied, he wants paying customers to be the reason why. Denise Dory, ABC2 News.